Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Osama Gazal and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create this spin transition. But before we start guys, just make sure to uh, download the preset down in the description uh, because we're gonna need it for this tutorial and it's free so don't worry about paying anything. And once you download it, just go to the effects panel over here and click this button and import presets and just find where you saved it, double click it and it will be automatically listed here in the effects panel. Alright, so in order to create the spin transition, what we need is, uh, as we always do guys, an adjustment layer. And again, if you want to create an adjustment layer, you can just go to the project and media panel over here, uh, click this small button over here and choose adjustment layer. And it will be listed here by default. Then you can drag it and set it right on the center between the two clips right then make another copy by holding the alt key on your keyboard and drag it up like that all right so now we have two adjustment layers and i'm going to show you why we created two adjustment layers instead of one okay so now what we're going to do is searching for the preset we just downloaded and as you guys can see it's called replicate so we're gonna search for something called replicate drag it and drop it onto the first adjustment layer all right and the reason we use this replicate effect is as you guys can see it creates some sort of replicated tiles from our clip and the reason we did that is if we try to spin our clip without having these tiles or replicated copies from each clip we will have like some sort of black edges around the clip and it's gonna show up right at the peak of this pen transition and it's not gonna look cool alright so if you really want to understand more about the replicate effect how to create it and the reason we use it all the time uh, you can go watch my zoom transition video I will make sure to leave the link to that down in the description I uh, explained everything in details about it so you can just watch it and uh, yeah it's pretty easy so uh, yeah you can just watch this video all right so now having that done we are ready to move to the next step uh, in our spin transition and that will be by searching for something called transform in effects panel and you can find it here under distort drag it and drop it onto the second adjustment layer okay and the first step here is to increase the scale of this transform layer up to 300 and the reason we're doing that is because we don't want to see this look in our video we want to get it back to normal and that would be by increasing the scale here to 300 again if you guys want to understand uh, the concept behind uh, having these numbers and um, you know working on the replicate effect you can just go back to my zoom transition video uh, and watch it in details okay so uh, now we have everything ready for the spin transition and the final step will be playing around a little bit with the rotation over here guys with the keyframes in order to create the start and the end of the spin transition all right and now i'm going to move this cursor to the middle point as you guys can see then count five frames before and after this middle point. So now I'm gonna start with a keyframe before. So one, two, three, four, five. Create a keyframe while the value of this rotation is zero. And of course, guys, don't forget that we're actually here on this adjustment layer where we dropped our transform effect. All right, so now getting back to the middle point and count five more keyframes. And you can just do that by holding the shift key on your keyboard and press your arrow key and that will let the cursor move five keyframes at a time and the second keyframe will actually be one full rotation or one full spin and in order to do this what we have to do is to type one x here or just drag this slider all the way up to 360. okay so now let's see that and as you guys can see it's kind of heavy transition for Premiere Pro to render so what we're going to do is press I at the start point O at the end point go to sequence and hit render into out all right so now as we rendered our transition we can preview that and let me play it. yeah that's pretty much how we want it to look like 
All right, so the final step to fine tune the spin transition a little bit and make it look cooler is first of all, you can go all the way down here, uncheck this use composition box and increase the shutter angle to 360. Well, I personally prefer to keep it at 360. Uh, and what that does is blurring the peak of the spin transition, as you guys can see, and it makes it even more seamless, okay? Um, one more step you can do is by dropping down this rotation uh, effect. As you can see, uh, this is a little bit linear graph, um, and that's why the transition is a little bit rough at the start and the end points, as you guys saw. But what we are doing here is highlighting all our keyframes, double click and choose Bezier. And what that does is changing the linear graph and make it become a curve like that. Then what you can do is drag this slider. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that. Drag this slider a little bit down, then a little bit in until you have this spike in your graph. And that means that the transition will start slow in the beginning, then gradually speeding up till the end. All right, so let's check that out, guys, and see how it looks like now. Yeah, looks so much better, more seamless. All right, so that was pretty much everything about the uh, spin transition in Adobe Premiere Pro, guys. Uh, but for those who watched my last tutorial where I explained the RGB split, um, I'm gonna capitalize on that a little bit and see how we can add the RGB split to the spin transition and how it's gonna look like. All right, so this is the spin effect as we just created it. And those are the three layers uh, that I used to split the RGB channels on. So the first layer is the red channel, the second one is the green, and the third one is the blue channel. Now let's play and see how that looks like. Yeah, looks so much better. It adds this sort of deflection to the whole transition and that's why I said um, I don't really like to use the RGB split as a separate transition. I prefer to use it as a part of a bigger transition like the spin or zoom transition. And for those who still don't know what the RGB split is, you can guys watch my last tutorial. I'll make sure to leave the link to that down in the description. Uh, so you can understand what it means and how we created that. Alright guys, so that was pretty much everything for today. I really hope you liked it and found it useful to work. As I'm always saying, just make sure to subscribe to my channel in order to get notified once I upload a new tutorial. And also follow me on Instagram to stay updated with my latest designs and videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.